What's wrong? Everything! <laughs> Me though. She makes my withered loins feel life again. Hey! Amy here! How are you guys doing tonight, hey? Cool, cool, cool. Now shut up a second, I need to get serious. <laughs> How are you? I hope that you're very, very well. I'm slowly trying less and less with my appearance every day, so soon you'll just see me, like, with a messy bun on my head, hair not washed for 17 days. So, let's all look forward to that. Today I am going to be watching another Star Kid video. So if you don't know me, my name is Amy by the way. I make theatre YouTube videos and at the moment I'm doing a series where I watch the Star Kid musicals because I've never seen any of them before but I've just watched a Very Potter musical and a Very Potter sequel. And so if you want to subscribe that would be very nice. As I say I'm going to all the musicals whilst we're all on lockdown but I always do musical videos anyway. I am really enjoying watching them and people seem to be liking it as well so I want to continue on with this series or whatever for as long as people are interested and I'm interested. I'm actually notoriously really bad for not sticking to things when I'm like I'm gonna do this series and then I just never do it again. So on my last video I said I'm not sure what to do next, should I do a different musical or should I go with a very Potter senior year and I had a really mixed bag of responses. A lot of people said that they kind of expected explained that senior year is more of like a rehearsed reading, everyone had scripts in their hands and things, and a lot of people said it wasn't as good as the other two. So people suggested that I go to another musical, watch another few, and then come back to it, and then it's kind of more nostalgic and nice to see how it ended up, but a lot of people said that I should try other shows, so that's what I'm going to do today. So I have had an overwhelming amount of people saying that I should watch Twisted, which is apparently like Wicked for Jafar. So I suppose the story of Jafar before he met Aladdin? I don't know. What I did want to say before I start, I just wanted to say a really big thank you to everybody. So I was really nervous about my last video because I wasn't as complimentary about the show as I was about the first one and I thought that people would get really angry with me so I was really nervous. I contemplated not putting it up and people were so kind. I had maybe one comment that was like, you're a dick. <laughs> but everybody else was really lovely and I was also really nervous about like when you join a new fandom or you move to new content and things people can be very gatekeepery about it like if you get something wrong they get really angry if you haven't watched it before people are angry at that and sometimes when I do videos I feel like I can't win whatever I do and the people in the Starkid fandom have been the kindest that I think I've ever experienced on any videos that I've done. Like the theatre community, I'm separating these up for the moment, but the theatre community are overall a very lovely community, but there's also a lot of gatekeeperiness. There's a lot of, I know better than you, my opinion's better than yours. Whereas I feel like the Starkid fandom is just like people being really lovely to each other. I've had so many messages like, oh, you said this, and I just wanted to explain that to you. And people have just been so lovely. And like, if I don't know something, people are really wanting to help and I don't know there's something really lovely about it. I don't know if there's a particular reason but I just wanted to say thank you for kind of allowing me into your fandom I suppose and for being really nice and I think that's what's made me really want to continue with this as well because people have been so lovely and it seems like such a nice place to kind of be and so <laughs> I don't know but I just think you're all lovely and I wanted to say <laughs> thank you. So yes let's watch Twitter. I have got a bagel, you will be happy to know. Let's start the show. <laughs> Once upon a time. How exciting. <laughs> is that, is that Joe Walker? I know everybody's name, well I know some people's names now. I'm really enjoying this so far. It's very like Beauty and the Beast. Obviously they've like rewritten the song, but I think it's very funny. I like it. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking it. <laughs> it's so weird seeing Lauren not as Draco and like with girl hair and she looks like a girl now. She looks so much like a boy. It's very strange to me. <laughs> it was so good. Dylan Saunders is such a good character actor. He's so amazing. Come on, monkey, don't be scared. Yeah. Most that monkey is so cute. Catch you. 
<laughs> Am I right? I really like it so far. It's it's a lot more like a normal musical. There's kind of more singular songs, fully formed songs, I suppose. There's a lot of expletives. Is that the word? A lot of swear words. <laughs> I think it's funny how they always seem to make their like lead characters or their characters that, that so many people love like douchebags like Harry Potter, bit of an arsehole and Aladdin, complete arsehole. I love it, I think it's so funny. Is this how your kingdom treats its guests to <laughs> Do not feed me a shit and call it couscous, Jafar. I'm gonna use that. Do not feed me a shit and call it couscous, Jafar. I'm using that again. That's not charming. That's kind of rapey. Will you say I'm just dreaming like Father and Jafar? Everything and more. They've recreated the style of Disney music so well like like the chord progressions and things are so similar to Disney phrases and things I think they've got it so perfect it's like Disney for adults isn't it I mean Disney is for adults as well but it's like Disney only for adults <laughs> when love was but a song, when oh I love him it is hard to do always to teach this song in schools. This is a very important message. <laughs> I'm really intrigued about how the shows are put together. Like, does somebody write the show and then they like look at the company and cast it from that? Or do they write the roles specifically for who they want to play that role? I'm really intrigued if anybody knows how that works. Because like Joe Walker seems to always play like the baddies. And I'm intrigued as to whether they write him as that or if they like then audition people and he's just always the one who gets it. I'm really interested. Also, Jamie's face in this is killing me. The girl who played Ginny in the last ones, I believe. And handsome as he's kind. Aww. And the she has such good skin. This is a really pretty song. I'm cold. Aww. That's very cute. No, an advert! Oh. Many years ago. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> it's pretty. This is so good. I'm only 33. <laughs> then I can sneak in, you know, pork. Knows I love a counter melody. This is my sheet. I love it. I think this one is a lot pacier than the others. It feels a lot more like I don't know how to describe it. I mean, it, like over an hour has passed, and it doesn't feel like I've been watching it for that long. There's a lot of songs, and that really moves it along. And they've done such a good job of like grasping the sense of Disney without it like just being a rehash of the songs. I love that Dylan is playing Jafar. I'm missing some of the people from the other ones. Like, is his name Joey? The guy who plays Ron. I really miss him. Obviously, Darren Chris, but I know that he is only in a couple of them anyway. Oh, what's his name? Um, Tyler, who played Cedric and Lucius. I'm really missing him because I love his voice. I'm really glad that I've watched this one. I think there's songs that I would like listen to again. Again. Right, end of act one. I'm gonna go and have um, a nap. <laughs> what a surprise, eh? Let's go for act two, baby. Now he can't come with me to count my hands. <laughs> what? I'm not handsome. No. Lies. 
damn lies. <laughs> you are handsome of the face, Ahmed. You are. You will always be a prince to me. Aww. <laughs> this is my favourite song of all of the songs in all of the musicals I've seen so far from Starkid. <laughs> that guy is me. <laughs> favorite I love that that was very good why do I always love a baddie the baddies are always my favorite did you know when I went to go and see 101 Dalmatians as a child apparently all the children in the cinema were all crying I was also crying but apparently the children were crying because they felt sorry for the Dalmatians I was crying because I felt sorry for Cruella de Vil I mean does that show that I was a psychopath at four years old probably aren't you busy Ruining my life. I feel like this version of Jasmine would be so good in like keeping up with the Kardashians or something. If they did like a like a Disney like reality show, she would be she'd be right there. She'd be perfect. So what's wrong? Everything <laughs> Me though. It would solve all of the kingdom's problems if we just made everyone a princess. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. <laughs> the song is a dick in sheep's clothing. I mean, isn't that true? <laughs> Let's be honest. Look into my eyes and talk to me some more about the world's injustice. Sure. Just let me roll this blunt first. <laughs> <laughs> Aladdin is such a dick. <laughs> but I love Jasmine. Take off your clothes. This makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> I have to say the moustache game in this show is <laughs> pretty fantastic. Where's the land? Oh no! <laughs> yes, Ursula! Oh my god, yes! Score! This is epic! Gaston, my favourite! Oh, I love Gaston! Yes! I'm gonna be honest with you, once when I went to Disneyland Paris, the person who was playing Captain Hook elbowed me in the face. I just thought I'd share that with you. Yes! I love Cruella! I love the baddies! Do you not know, love that earlier on I was like, I just love baddies. And then there's a whole song for the baddies! Yes. I have to say, that song as well really reminded me of a song in Assassins, which is a Stephen Sondheim musical, where it's like listing the the reason why they think it's okay of what they did. So there's a song in Assassins called November 22nd, 1963, and the last like minute of it really reminds me of that. It's like a different melody, obviously, but it's the same kind of vibe. So if you like that, you might like Assassins. <laughs> That was amazing. That's my favourite thing I've seen from Star Kids so far. I love that. He's got really glassy eyes, so I keep thinking he's crying, and I'm like, hun, same. But he's not crying, but I keep thinking he is. Do you know what I mean? They're like glassy. <gasps> he's crying! Really, really, really enjoying this one. I think it's very funny. It's a very well written. I really like it when you see a story from a different point of view. So like seeing it from a baddie's point of view or whatever. So yes, I'm very enjoying it. Uh, yeah, let it! <laughs> I take what I want. Get back, Alfred! One step! My wife was with child when she was taken by the Sultan. She died in childbirth! And then the princess was coincidentally born around... Just squatting here. <laughs> He's so scary. The lamp and the gin must return to the Can I ask, why does he say gin instead of genie? Am I missing something? Or is that just the name that they're calling it? Because I have heard them call him the genie, then also a gin. Is that a thing from Aladdin? I don't remember. Please help. 
the power inside. Oh, this is really cute. Oh, I love that harmony. That was really cute and I really liked it. Is the life of a gin. What's a gin? That's not the ending I recall. What? You're forgetting. Oh. I'm. Oh my god, I love that so much. Oh, it was so good. I'm so glad I watched it. I love a show with a happy ending. And oh, I just thought it was great. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know which one I should watch next, if I should go back to senior year, or if I should watch Firebringer, or The Guy Who Didn't Like Musicals, or what I should watch next. Yeah, let me know. I hope that you're keeping well, staying inside, looking after yourself and your loved ones. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you next time. Bye.